I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. A brief lesson in consequences. Part 1, Physics. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The paddle hits the ball, the ball goes the other direction. Thank you, Mr. Newton. Although you could spend most of a day debating whether Newton's third law has merit, the rest of us would appreciate it if you'd at least pretend to respect it when you're driving a motor vehicle on the interstate highway system. Part 2. Sociology. Immorality has consequences. Research has tied promiscuity to depression, disease, drug abuse, and death. The natural human response to such news is to deny the consequences and demand the same of everyone else. People may make demands on their parents, they may hit the church by asking it to redefine what sin is, or they may seek to bring the full weight of federal law down on their boss. The Employment Non-Discrimination Act that the U.S. Congress has been talking about is an attempt to punish employers, particularly Christian employers, who object to the immorality of employees. Although such ideas can be debated all day, the truth is law and courts cannot offset the natural consequences of immorality. The single thing that can is a change in behavior. If someone is highly motivated and desires to change, research shows that they can, and we should offer them hope. Because no matter what laws get passed, absolute truth will always be true. For every action, there is an equal... Whoops. For every action, there is, that was... <laughs>